In this tutorial, you will learn how to model a hypocycloid speed reducer in Blender. Hypocycloid drives are part of the planetary drive group. They offer a high gear ratio and high efficiency in a very compact design, and are widely used in heavy machinery. The main components of a hypocycloid speed reducer are A round housing with a ring of pins An eccentric cam connected to the input shaft The distance between the center of the cam and the center of rotation is called eccentricity A flower-shaped gear called cycloid disc with radial holes The number of teeth on the cycloid disc equals the gear ratio of the drive and is less by one than the number of pins. And an output gear with pins that go into the radial holes of the cycloid disc. This gear is connected to the output shaft. For a smoother operation, real-life hypocycloid drives are usually equipped with two eccentric cams rotated by 180 degrees to each other, and two cycloid discs. A hypocycloid drive can be fully defined with as few as four parameters. The diameter of the ring around which the pins are mounted. The diameter of the pins themselves. The number of pins. The distance between the center of the input shaft and the geometric centers of the cam and cycloid disc, called eccentricity. The cycloid disc is the most important part of the drive, and also the most complex. We have developed an online calculator which takes the four hypocycloid drive parameters as the input, and generates the parametric equations of a curve from which the profile of the cycloid disk can be obtained instantly. This calculator can be found at www.vinted.com slash cycloid.html. For this tutorial, we will be using the following parameters. The housing diameter is 100. The pin diameter is 10. The number of pins is 12. The eccentricity is 3. Other dimensions, chosen arbitrarily, are The cam diameter is 20. The shaft diameter is 10. The disc's radial hole diameter is 24. The radial hole shift is 27. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube by pressing X. Press 7 on the numeric keypad to switch to the top view, and 5 to switch to the orthographic mode. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. Go to User Preferences and on the Add-on tab, make sure Add Mesh, Extra Objects is checked. Click Shift A, Select Mesh, Math Function, XYZ Math Surface. Go to the online calculator at www.vinted.com slash cycloid.html. Enter 100 for ring diameter, 10 for pin diameter, 12 for number of pins, and 3 for eccentricity, then press calculate equations. Copy the X and Y equations from the calculator to the corresponding boxes of the XYZ math surface object properties. Enter 0 for Z equation. Enter 0 for U min, 1 for U max and 1024 for U step. Leave the U wrap box checked. Since we are not using the V parameter, enter 0 for V min, 0 for V max and 1 for V step. Press tab to enter the edit mode, and click the remove doubles button. To turn this curve into a valid cycloid disk profile. The inset tool needs to be applied to it in the amount that equals the pin radius, which is 5 in our case. Press F to create a face covering the entire outline. Press I for inset, then 5, then enter. Select the outer loop of vertices and delete them by pressing X, and selecting vertices. We no longer need the face, so delete it also by pressing X and selecting only faces. To create the axis hole, press Shift A. Then select circle. Enter 64 for vertices and 10 for radius. To create the radial holes, press Shift A, then select circle. 
enter 12 for radius. Move the circle along the X axis by 27 mm by pressing G, then X, then 27, then enter. Duplicate and rotate it around the Z axis by 680 degrees by pressing R, then Z, then 60, then enter. Repeat this 5 times to create 6 holes altogether. Press A twice to select everything. Press Alt F for beauty fill. Extrude 10 mm along the Z axis by pressing E, then double Z, then 10, then enter. Select everything and press Ctrl N to fix the normals. To apply eccentricity, move the object along the X axis to the left by pressing G, then X, then negative 3, then enter. Our cycloid disc is ready. We will use the inner faces of its axis hole to create the eccentric cam. Go to the edit mode by pressing tab and select the face select mode. Select the inner faces, duplicate them by pressing shift D, then press P to separate and choose selection. Press tab to exit the edit mode. Select the disc and move it to layer 2 by pressing M. Select the cam, enter the edit mode and switch back to the vertex select mode. To create the shaft, add a circle with a radius of 5 mm and extrude it downwards by 10 mm. Press F to cap the cylinder with a face. Press W and use bridge edge loops to connect the shaft to the cam. Add another circle and move it up by 10 mm, then extrude it upwards, cap it with a face, and connect it to the cam the same way as before. Select everything and press Ctrl N to fix the normals. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Press the Set Origin button and select Origin to 3D cursor. Our eccentric cam is ready. To create the housing, press Shift A and select Circle. Give it the radius of 5 mm. Move it along the X axis by 50 mm by pressing G, then X, then 50, then Enter. Enter the edit mode, extrude along the Z axis by 10 mm, then press F to cap the cylinder with a face. Select everything, duplicate and rotate by 30 degrees around the Z axis by pressing Shift D, then R, then Z, then 30, then Enter. Select everything, duplicate and rotate by 60 degrees. Select everything, duplicate and rotate by 120 degrees and then duplicate and rotate by another 120 degrees. Add another 5 mm circle for the axis hole, and then another circle big enough to enclose all the pins. Press 1 to switch to the front view. Using the box tool, select all bottom vertices of the geometry. Press Alt F for beauty fill. Select the outer and inner rims of vertices and extrude downwards by 10 mm. Then press W and select bridge edge loops. Select everything and press Ctrl N to fix the normals. Our housing is ready. Go to layer 2 and move the cycloid disc back to layer 1. To verify the correctness of the cycloid disc profile, let's animate our design. The cycloid disc will make a full circle, or 360 degrees, from frame 1 to frame 250. Since the gear ratio of our hypocycloid drive is 11, the cam will need to rotate 360 times 11 degrees in the opposite direction. Select the cam. Go to frame 1. Open the object tab. Hover the mouse over the rotation boxes and press I to create a keyframe. Go to frame 250. In the Z box, enter 360 times 11, then create a keyframe by pressing I. Now parent the cycloid disc to the cam by selecting the disc. Then selecting the cam while holding down the shift key. Press Ctrl P, then select object. Select the disc again. Go to frame 1. Hover the mouse over the rotation boxes and press I to create a keyframe. Go to frame 250. The correct value for the Z angle is negative 360 times 11 minus 360. The first part, negative 360 times 11 is needed to neutralize the rotation due to parenting. The second part, negative 360, represents the actual full circle rotation. The negative signs reflect the fact that the disc is rotating in the opposite direction to the cam. 
Press I to create a keyframe. Press the play button to start the animation. Clearly, the cycloid disk is designed correctly. To complete our hypocycloid drive model, we need to create the output gear with pins. To accommodate the eccentricity of the disk, the diameter of the pins of the output gear must be equal to the diameter of the radial holes minus eccentricity times 2. In our example, it is 24 minus 6, or 18. In addition to the 6 pins with the diameter of 18, our output gear will also have 6 small mounting holes. The modeling method is almost exactly the same as with the disk and housing, utilizing the beauty fill function. Rotate the output gear by 180 degrees around the x-axis. Move it to layer 1. Move it up by 10 mm along the z-axis. Click Ctrl A, and select Apply Rotation. Create two keyframes for the z-rotation, 0 and negative 360 degrees respectively. Click Set Origin and select Origin to 3D Cursor. Click the Play button. And that concludes our tutorial.